Hello and welcome everyone to this video where I want to show you how you can leverage Python coding to create dynamic three-dimensional plots like the one shown here in the ADS data display which can also be used for tuning as I'm demonstrating right now. To use Python in the data display you have to first download and install the ADS data link. You can find it on our website right below the ADS download under the Add-on Software Utilities section. Once you have installed the ADS data link, you will have access to the open source development environment Spider. To open Spider in the ADS data display, simply go to Tools and select Spider. To get started with data link, you can have a look at the example using ADS data link that gets shipped with ADS. You can find it in the example explorer in the ADS main window. In this example workspace, we already find a data display that creates a three-dimensional plot from swept as parameter data. It is called for underscore python underscore plotting. As soon as we run this equation in the data display, a Python script with the name surface.py will be executed that generates the 3D plot in a new window. The data comes from a simple S-parameter simulation of a transistor with an additional parameter sweep of the drain voltage. You can find the schematic under design files, swept S-parameter. Now let's see how we can adjust the Python script and the workspace to get a plot in the data display that changes dynamically so we can also use it for tuning. So we go to Spider by Tools, Spider and we open the surface.py script in Spider. We can find it in the workspace directory under Data and then Python. First of all, we want Python to save the figure to a file instead of creating and showing the plot. Therefore, we comment out the last line, plt.show, that is responsible for creating a new window with a plot when running a script. In order to save the plot as a figure instead, we use the command savefig from the matplotlib pyplot library that we already imported in the third line in the script. Now we only have to specify the file name. Let's simply call it fig1.png. Let's save the script and do a quick test run to check if it works. In order to do so, we go back to our data display. We calculate the equation to trigger the Python script. Now we go to the folder where the script is located and there it is, fig1.png. Again in Spider, we add another line of code to pass back to ADS a string containing the path and the file name using the ADS send command. And that's all we have to change in the Python code. Back in the data display, First thing we have to do is allowing the data display to receive data from the Python script. In order to do that, we remove the underscore bg from the equation. Additionally, we allow the equation to be calculated automatically by checking this little checkbox, calculate expression automatically. Then we add a picture to the data display. You can either do that by using the picture symbol from the palette, or you go to insert picture. We can choose now if the picture source is a file or an expression. If we directly use the file as input, it will be loaded once into the data display, but ADS is not refreshing it automatically. So the plot would be static and we could not use it for tuning. I will add it anyway in order to show you the difference. Now let's add a second picture, but this time we choose expression to get the dynamic plot. Since the return value of our Python script is the file path, it gets saved to the variable plot. So now we can just enter the variable plot as expression to point to the picture. 
And remember, we activate the auto calculation for the expression, therefore the variable and with that also the picture will be refreshed as soon as something changes. Let's check if it works. We just change the S11 to S21 in the equation to send the S21 data to our Python script instead. And as you can see, the plot using the expression was refreshed automatically. The picture with the file input is static and did not change. Now we go back to the schematic and see if it also works for tuning. But before we press the tune button, we should deactivate the measurement equation down here, because otherwise this will trigger an additional Python script. Now we can start the tuner. Let's say, for example, we want to tune the gate voltage. As you can see, the plot changes dynamically with the tuning. Now you know how to set up a Python script and the equation in the ADS data display to create a dynamic three-dimensional plot that will automatically refresh while tuning or as soon as you make any changes to the data display. I hope you find this useful and thank you for watching.